Welcome back. In this video, we're going to continue our study of area and discuss and introduce the area of parallelograms and triangles. As you saw in the previous video, area is the square units or the number of squares that we can include inside of a closed figure. Well, not all closed figures are as clean as a rectangle or a square. For example, a parallelogram. You can see here we have all parts of many of these graph paper grid squares, so we don't all have all these perfect square units to fill in. We've got some small ones, okay, and some larger but not complete squares. So how do we calculate the area of something like this? Well, through shifts and that type of thing, we can see that a parallelogram is very similar to a rectangle. And sure enough, the area formula for a parallelogram is base times height. However, the height must be the altitude or the length of the perpendicular segment drawn to the base. With a square or rectangle, since those have right angles already, that altitude, that height is built in. However, in a parallelogram, not the case. The length of the sides here are both six, but that's not the height of our parallelogram. That's going to be longer than our height. And our base here is 14. So in order to calcu calculate the area of the parallelogram, we need to fill in an altitude. And we were given that this angle and this parallelogram is 60 degrees. So when we draw our altitude, we can use our properties of a 30, 60, 90 right triangle to calculate the height. And since the 6 is the 2x side, the x side is 3, and our height is 3 radical 3. So the area of this particular parallelogram, base times height, is 3 times the square root of 3 times 14. Now the base is simply the side to which the altitude is drawn. So we're going to reshift our, our parallelogram and kind of pretend we're going to take this triangle here and move it over to this side. And now we have a rectangle with a height of 3 radical 3 and a base of 14. And we would kind of pretend this is not here over here on the left side. So our area, 3 radical 3 times 14, 3 times 14 is 42, so 42 times the square root of 3, and whatever units we're using, squared. And the area of a triangle can be shown to be one half the area of any parallelogram with the same base and height. Well, since the area of a parallelogram is base times height. The area of a triangle is one-half base times height. So here's an example of a rectangle that's 5 by 3. Well, if we draw a diagonal in there, our, we have a triangle, and it's going to be half of the area of the rectangle. So the area of a triangle is one-half base times height. The base is not always the bottom but the side to which the altitude is drawn, and the height is the altitude, or the length of the perpendicular segment drawn to the base. So some examples, we might want to calculate the area of this particular triangle. Well, the 12 appears to be the bottom, but it's not the base. Our base is the 15. So the 15 is the base because we have an altitude drawn to this side. 
So the area of this particular triangle is equal to 1 half 15 times 10. 1 half base times height. I'm going to take 1 half of the 10, and I get 15 times 5, and my area is 75 square units, or the red triangle. Here's another example. We might try and calculate the area of this equilateral triangle. It's got a side of 9. The only problem is we don't have an altitude. So we draw one in. So we draw an altitude to our triangle. That gives us a height. Fortunately, this triangle is equilateral, so I know that all the angles are 60. Using my properties of a 30, 60, 90, I can calculate the height. So the 9 is the 2x side. So the x side, I'm just going to call that 9 halves. And so I'm using my property of a 30, 60, 90. So it's 9, that's four and a half or nine halves, and that would be nine square root of three over two. So the area of my triangle is one half the base. Now the base, got to be careful here, our base is that whole length of nine, one half nine times our height, nine halves, square root 3. So, not the prettiest numbers in the world. 9 halves times 9 halves square root of 3. So we get 81 fourths radical 3 units squared. So, not the prettiest area, but shows you the point that we have to have an altitude right now in order to calculate the area of a triangle. And we might have to use properties of our 30, 60, 90 to do that. And we'll get more practice with this when I see you in class.